Thanks for buying the Onefinity CNC touch probe. Let's get it hooked up to the machine. When we open up the box, we will see some foam packaging. And the next thing we'll see, we will have the touch probe that is in sealed plastic. Following the probe, we will find all of the connecting wires. Once we have everything opened up, we will remove the twist ties from the connecting wires. Locate the end of the wire with the banana plug and place that in one of the two holes on the touch probe. When using the touch probe, we will connect the magnetic end to the collet nut. The last step of connecting the touch probe will be to plug the opposite end of the cable into the port labeled probe. To use your probe, the first thing you need to do is attach your material to the waste board. First, we'll take our banana plug and put it into one of the holes in the touch probe, placing that on the bottom left of our piece and we'll attach the magnet to the collet nut of the spindle. When probing for X, Y, and Z, you must place the material inside of the recess so that you have the right measurement. This is the correct placement for the probe when probing for X, Y, and Z. If you place the probe on top of the piece of material, you will not receive the correct calculation. When probing for Z alone, flip the probe over and probe inside of the recess to ensure that the probe does not rock or take the wrong calculation. We will now probe for X, Y, and Z. Notice that the probe is sitting on top of the material, but the material is inside of the recess. We will now move the bit to this circle on the top right of the probe. Your end mill does not have to be exactly above the circle. It can be off by about three millimeters. Now we will attach the magnet to the collet nut of the spindle. Now we'll go to the controller and depending on which bit we're using, we're using a quarter inch bit, so we will select imperial instead of metric. We'll now hit probe XYZ and input our bit size 0.25 inches and press set. Remove the magnet and touch probe, and we're ready to start our carve. When probing for Z alone or a V bit, we will turn the probe upside down and attach the magnet to the collet nut of the spindle. Now we'll jog the machine back to anywhere above the recess. We will now select probe Z. It will not ask you for a bit size. Thank you for your purchase of Onefinity CNC accessories. To view a full list of our products, please visit our website, onefinitycnc.com. For questions or comments, please feel free to email us at support at onefinitycnc.com or visit our forum, forum.onefinitycnc.com.